Hello and welcome back to the heist at Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. We are here in Hilbert's office, I presume. Uh, he has... Is that a box under his desk that I can't actually reach or frog? Huh. 15th August. The painting of Cantor's temple is most fascinating. So lifelike, so real. It's as if it's not a painting at all, but really a place one could go. I must learn more about it. 21st August. The Alice Stone arrives today. Finally, my collection will be complete. I'll have to keep it safe, of course, and ensure that it stays hidden from prying eyes. I don't want a lawsuit on my hands. 22nd August. It's true what they say about the stone. It really is a remarkable specimen. I can feel that it wants to be looked upon, but I dare not gaze more than a few seconds. But what a rush those initial glimpses provide. Marvellous. 27th August. I couldn't help myself. I had to behold its full glory. Oh, what a sight it was! I believe I now understand the painting perfectly. Of course a flat painting can encapsulate an entire voluminous space. How did I not see it before? That there exists a bijection guarantees that it must be so. I need only devise a way to access the information it encodes. I must set to work at once. Perhaps another look at the stone will provide just the inspiration I need. 29th August. Eureka! My spectacles are a tremendous success. As I suspected, it's not just a painting of Cantor's temple, but a portal to it. I just know Cantor's paradise lies beyond that white stone gate, but I will need help getting through. First order of business, hire an astronomer. 25th September. Kepler is making quick work of his tasks. Already we have our answers for summer and fall. It was very fortunate indeed that I learned the painting secrets so close to the change of seasons. Saved us quite some months. 19th March. I can hardly contain my excitement. The equinox will arrive tomorrow and we will finally have our answer. Cantor's paradise awaits and I've only another day or two to wait. Together we will uncover the mysteries of the continuum. We must know. We will know. 20th of March. Zounds! A thick fog has rolled in, impeding Kepler's progress. My trip into the temple must wait another night. 27th of March. A week has passed and still the fog refuses to clear. Such agony it is to wait. Perhaps some time with the stone will soothe my restless nerves. 11th April. Such a thick and prolonged fog is unheard of. There must be unnatural forces at play. It's the majors. They're on to me. I just know it. They rejected Cantor's wisdom during his life, and now they seek to keep it from the world even after his death. Those mage fools simply cannot bear the glory of his truths. 14th April. Still the weather spurns me, but there is some good news. My colleague Brewer has been able to replicate the magic of the temple painting. Such a clever man, that Brewer. Perhaps the painting is not as unique as I once thought. Could there be others like it? 25th April. Oh, how the muse mocks my efforts. Her final secret guarded ever so tightly. How dare she stand between me and the knowledge I seek. We need only one final glimpse of the nocturnal lights before the solstice arrives. 3rd of May. My frustration with Kepler knows no bounds. Week after week he disappoints. If spring comes to a close before we have our answer, I just don't know what I'll do. Another year is inconsequential, while eternity in Cantor's paradise awaits beyond that white stone gate. But I can't afford to risk delay if the majors are plotting against me. They'll stop at nothing to keep this knowledge from the world. We've no time to spare. We must open the gate and retrieve Cantor's codex. I cannot bear to wait any longer. I must impress upon Kepler the seriousness of the situation. Astronomers aren't a dime a dozen, but they're not exactly irreplaceable either. I'll make sure he understands this. None shall stand between us and the paradise Cantor has created. We must know. We will know. 7th May. What a tough and waste of potential Brewer turned out to be. How can such brilliance and weak-mindedness reside within the same man? I suppose it takes more than mere intellect to endure the Elf Stone's firm grasp. But tough, uh, what a mess he made. Yuck. I'll have Kevil clean it up post-haste. For now, I better move the stone myself. I can't risk letting it fall into the wrong hands. Without it, access to Cantor's temple would forever be beyond my grasp. 8th May. Every time I behold the stone, I'm reminded of its awesome power. To gaze into the depths of its endless pitch, the physical manifestation of the infinite itself. I understand all that I do not yet know. I know all that I do not yet understand. It is excruciating. It is bliss. It is always with me now, whispering, beckoning. I feel its power. I am its power. We must know, we will know. 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 We must, we will, we must, we will. We must know, we will know. And uh, that gave us some new objectives. Oh. That cancelled when you finish set back out the front gate. Aha, new, that codex must be worth a fortune. Use the Aleph Stone to make your own way into the temple. 
And we found out why the Yellowstone was so important. Okay. Well, that's a... Uh, that's a start. Uh, well, I don't know what to do with this lime away. What are the instructions again about? Let me put a sponge. Grease, grime, mineral buildup. I don't have any of those things. I, uh, hmm. Well, we have a safe here. Oh. Interesting. Right, so we've got a zero, a blank, a zero, a square, a thing. Hmm. So somehow uh, something. So it's not just pressing four buttons; it's getting the right combination of those. Um, which I think there would be 64 combinations, so it would be exceedingly tedious. Oh, I can't problem that, I just got really close. Exceedingly tedious to uh, go through a brute force, so we must be able to find the poem somewhere that he talks about. Surely. And when we have the Ella Stone, we shall be able to access Countess Temple, surely. All right, well, this was the other side of the staircase. What happens if I, of the two staircases, what is this way? Oh, it's blocked, Got the desk in the way. And there's a guard. He can wait here. Don't forget, I need to check out the uh, what's further down that staircase. Hello. Another guard. You two can sleep. Sleep here. So this is overlooking... Oh, I don't know. What is that down there? I've never seen that area of that place before, have I? How odd. Oh, no. Hang on a second. Am I... Am I supposed to be able to shove the furniture from this side? Seems improbable. I feel like I might have sequence broke. I also hear strange whisperings. Is this the West Wing? Suddenly West, so... The West Wing was where the Aleph Stone was supposed to be, have been moved to, was it not? What's this big stone thing? Oh, it's the uh, sofa shoved up on edge. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have been able to get here yet. Is this the staircase I didn't actually go up? This is the hallway where the guard patrols up and down, yeah. I don't remember where I went from there. Okay, I'm losing track now of uh, which parts of this of this place I've been to and which parts I haven't. So I would have come up here if I found I couldn't get in except when I can. Definitely feels like a sequence break, although... Hmm, creepy whisperings. And I probably need a key that I don't have. No, oh, I have the western key. Where did I get the western key from? I have no memory of that. All right. I 
like a whispering, but it doesn't. It sounds like a hammer horn, but I don't see any signs. Does the uh, curtains obviously protecting the uh, Aleph stone from sight? Right? What was that thing about not looking at it? Unlock this too while well, we can. Hmm. Well, let's see what's in here, shall we? Look away to keep your sanity. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. We can't look at it. What have we got here? I can frob this. Oh, I can lockpick this. Oh no. Or do I need a specific item? Hmm. Did I just hear a gate shut? Under no circumstances is the stone to leave this room. Until the stone is reunited with its pedestal, the way out shall remain sealed. <sighs> alright, alright. Can I put the eight ball on there instead? Does that count? No. Hmm. Can I use the able with the pedestal? No, alright, so... Of course the sponge wouldn't be any good. So where's the Aleph Stone? So that's the Aleph Stone that was whispering. Alright, so... I can get in here. I can pick up the stone. I just can't yet do anything with it. All right, well, what's down further downstairs? Actually, I have the eight ball. I should go play with it on the pool table, right? That I found earlier. Oh, the library. This might be where the poem is to be found. That we need. More diagrams. Another... Oh! -ho. <laughs> A painting of this scene. As we stand there, looking at the painting of this scene. On and on and on. And on. Brilliant. Check the uh, desk in a second. He warned off his uh, brewer person from uh, the library, so what is this? Oh, this is brewer's desk. Compendium do MacGuffin Epistemology. Forward. This text provides an overview of several mythical artifacts, each imbued with arcane powers. Item: Aleph Stone. Description: An inky black gem of unknown material, so dark that it absorbs all incoming light. Known effects: Looking upon the gem fills the beholder with an intense and overwhelming curiosity to understand the infinite. Prolonged gazing, more than mere seconds, leads to incurable madness. Only under flickering light can the stone be safely observed. So that explains why the light was flickering where we first went to find it. History. Legend has it that a disgraced former Archmage Cantor, now known as Cantor the Corruptor, created the stone as a lure, designed to captivate and ultimately control the world's keenest minds. No evidence confirms this notion. The stone was recently acquired by Professor D. Hilbert and resides in the private Omega Gallery atop Hilbert's high-rise hotel. For obvious safety reasons, it is kept from view under heavy curtains in a dark room. Item, Veritas Amulet. Description, an amulet of unknown material. Known effects, the wearer becomes an omniscient arbiter of all things true. Strangely, rather than imbuing the wearer with knowledge, the amulet instead conforms reality to comport with the wearer's beliefs. What the wearer believes becomes truth. History, the Veritas Amulet is widely considered to be the most dangerous item in existence. 
even moments of possession could wreak irreversible havoc. As such, high-ranking members of the Order of the Hammer, the Hand Brotherhood, the Pagans, and an as-yet unknown secret society banded together to ensure its safekeeping. Each faction devised a portion of the safeguards meant to prevent interlopers from gaining access. By coordinating in this way, the amulet is defended against any individual faction seeking the amulet for its own purposes. Item, Scepter du Empathétique. Description, a bejeweled white gold scepter roughly three feet in length with a rounded head. Known effects, grants the user unparalleled ability to see and understand the world from others' perspectives. History, origin unknown. Item, Lexicographer's Locket. Description, a small brass locket on a thick gold chain. Known effects, whoever possesses this locket shall be gifted with exceptional ability to understand and construct clever wordplay. History, origin unknown. Item, Pendant of the Pedant. Description, a circular pewter pendant on a piece of twine. Known effects, grants the wearer exceptional ability to spot logical errors and attribute them to other people regardless of whether any such mistake was made. Along with this unique ability comes a compulsive need to act upon it, pointing them out in an attempt to be funny. This behaviour depletes the wearer of any and all capacity to socialise with the vast majority of humans. It has been speculated that dogs might be able to tolerate the wearer for extended periods of time, but no human has desired to observe these interactions for long enough to confirm their claim. To confirm the disclaim, you have an error there. It's funny. History. The pendant was originally created to banish Xylons. However, while testing it, the creator abandoned this goal as he became unable to do anything other than troll unfortunate humans. Ah, well, there is a uh, trollish reference in itself. Here's the mnemonic. Head down the stairs to the library. Take any book you choose. Bring it to the infinity pool and enjoy the scenic views. Or perhaps the rooftop's wishing pond will make the read more fun. Just be sure to return to the library when with it you are done. Library, infinity pool, wishing pond, library. Well, the library... This Is this a library? I mean, this feels like a library. Or is this just his office? It has... I mean, it's a square room. It's definitely a hill book curve kind of shape on the floor, but it's a square room. Now, we did see the wishing pond, right? It was up the top. Let's just let's just go check. If we get to the other side of this thing again. If I had more rope arrows, I'd just leave two here to make this more oops, more convenient. Especially the getting down bit. Although, the getting down, if I drop down onto the rail, should be okay. I don't have enough health to lose, but uh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, this is the wishing pond. So the wishing pond is a circle. Alright. Wishing pond is a circle. The library is a square. And what was the third one? It's the Infinity Pool, which was a Hilbert curve from what I saw of it. I think that means I now know the combination to open the safe. Let's try it. So what did you say? Library, Infinity Pool, Wishing Pond, Library. So we said the library is a square. I gotta wait till it finishes spinning. Library Infinity Pond was the curve, and the Wishing Pool is the circle. When I say curve, I mean that pattern. Indeed. Spectacles of extra dimensional experience unequipped. Okay. And a note The spectacles of extra dimensional experience. Step one Simply use the spectacles to look at any extra dimensional painting. Step two, remove the spectacles to exit the painting and return back to where you were before entering. Notes, warnings, extra dimensional travel can be disorienting. Try to keep your bearings. The experience may feel illusory, but it is very real. Your actions can have lingering consequences, even from within a painting. It is not possible to enter a painting from within another. You must exit the current painting first. Oh, wow. So we have the spectacles of extra dimensional what you call it? Let's just 
clean up after ourselves here. Hmm. So do they work with this painting? Oh. I thought we needed the Elf Stone to enter this, though. To proceed into the temple, you must awaken the muse. To do so, learn the secrets the nocturnal light imbues. Start at the top with winter, then chronologic order hues. After that, return to her. Your wish, she won't refuse. Okay, so we're going to need the four paintings and go through them in order, starting with winter. And then return to the muse. Oh. Oh. This is very hard to find the frog points. Oh dear, this is going to be... Uh, four rings. Okay, so that's going to be winter, spring, summer, autumn, I suppose. But uh, we all need to find the combination. And I guess we're going to need... Mm. It's two cakes mm. with sediment to read. Mm. Well, I know how to deal with that. Mm. Mm. Cake with sediment, you say? Finally, we can use lime away. What were the instructions? Uh, apply to the dirty surface, wait for the bubbles, then wash away with a little water. Um, I suppose I need to get some water in the sponge, right? Because I don't want to, I don't have enough water arrows for all of that. Okay, so this won't open. Right. Well, let's uh, try and bring some water in here. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to need to find different combinations in all the four paintings, starting with winter. Lady Larissa's one was winter, I think. My problem is now I don't remember the way to get to, uh... oh, that was the library. Don't remember the way to get to the suites from here. Perhaps this will help us. Oh, this is the room I saw from up above. I don't know what the, the oops, careful. This is the library. Okay, this is definitely the library. This matches the pattern we saw. Very cool, very cool. Um, just regard there. Can I just? I mean, I feel like if there's going to be anywhere that's uh, a good screenshot for this thing, it's going to be like something like this, right? I'm hearing footsteps. How do you get down? I mean, I can get down and up, just climb things, but how do ordinary people get up and down? Oh. Using stairs, how ordinary. But, with some valuable loot, that's quite, oh, quite alright. So is there someone else in here? I was hearing footsteps, but they may have been outside the library. And not in it. Seems, oh, 6,000 already. Exactly. How much is this worth then? A hundred, okay. Wow, I thought that loot goal was going to be unachievable, but we achieved it without really trying. Interesting. I guess some of those priceless artifacts must have been exceedingly exceedingly priceless. Oh, well, with a price. Okay, that's the lower floor of the library. Is there another way out of here, or is that just it? Okay. Um, where's the note to Brewer? It's the note to Brewer, I think, that mentioned the library, right? 
So the fact that I got the puzzle right without actually having noticed the library correctly it was almost coincidence, but uh, pure luck. Um, don't you dare touch any of the books in my library if you wish to remain in my good graces. Uh, yeah, what was the poem? Ah, oh, yes. Take, downstairs at the library, take any book you choose. <laughs> That's why it says it's not instructions. Because uh, if you touch any of the books in my library, you will regret it. Does that mean any, they're signing a secret, or is that just... just for fun? It's a lot of shelves. I don't have any indications that there is a secret in here. Of course, I don't have any indications that there isn't. So, you know, there could be. It's certainly traditional to hide secrets in the library. There's a book that you can pull out to open a door. But it kind of feels to me like this mission is doing a lot of things unconventionally and might just eschew such traditions for the sake of its own manner of hiding secrets. Well then I've almost finished searching the shelves so I can, you know, have that theory and test it too. Of course last time I was in a mission searching all the shelves I missed the two books that it was hiding and um, that I needed to finish the mission. Even doing a search like that. Alright, and that is the end of this half of the stairwell. Cool. Alright, so we need to get back to the suites because... Where was the penthouse elevator? So that's the room down there. How do we get back down there? So next room was, was Brewer's office, right? Yeah. So this is just the West Wing access. I think. It didn't get me anywhere else but the West Wing. Did it? Oh, hello. Or maybe it did. Wait, where did that guard go? Pay attention, Garrett. Where did he go? Maybe he was walking around that floor. Um, have I been down there? I don't know, this is... None of these places look the same, but they're all confusingly similar. Ah, let's get more... More room brush problems, alright. We've got another key, I don't know what it was. So downside of key ring scripts is you pick up a key and you have nothing to go on and you... It was red, but that doesn't matter anymore because I can't find a red key in my inventory. But there was what? Captain of the Guards? No, we got into the Captain of the Guards, but there were a couple of rooms downstairs that we couldn't get into. There's a cash box key I didn't have. There's this one, which... Upper floor key. Well, that makes sense. Where does this go then? Does this go somewhere I've already been? Yeah. Hello. More ducts. Okay, I don't think this is somewhere I've been. Let's just see. This is definitely somewhere I have not been. Okay. We'll have to come back this way. I saw some loot on the tables there. But until then... We are in the upper floor. I hear another guard around, but maybe they're up above me. 
I'm walking on wood. Or down below. Hmm, okay. Wow, look at that, that's a fancy chandelier. Oh. What's over there? Uh. Nothing you need to worry about. You were in a prime position to snipe on me if I was ever wandering around that room below, so... Getting you out of the way seems like doing the world quite a service. Or at least doing me quite a service. Oh, this is, this is entirely this upper floor, is it? Alright, we go down to the lower floor then, which is presumably that floor there. Don't forget the duct, Garrett. You'll want to check out the duct, but first let's check out the floor, because there's loot. Lovely, luscious loot. Are you trying to nap? Aren't you supposed to be on duty? Napping would be a dereliction of your duty, surely. Yes, yeah, so this is where I was looking down on. Okay. Do I hear other guards? No. I think I've knocked them all out so I can be a little bit noisy, but I don't want to run across this floor. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel like if we'd gone for expert, even the, uh, well, I would have been dead from lack of hit points. But um, the 7,000 loot gold does not look like it would have been much of a problem. Look at this. Careless to leave so much gold out, but uh, there we are, 7,260. Careless to leave so much gold out, but I'm not really complaining. Okay, here we've got, is that the other side of the same vent? Probably. Yeah, judging by its position, that is all it is. I'm very hard to get into. Very noisy too. Oh no, there's a... Is it a dead end or is it a down? Just a dead end. Yeah, okay, so that's all it is. It's a rather unexciting... Uh, Ducked, but okay. Cool. One less mystery to traverse our hello. Don't forget these. So the dining hall has been looted. That room has been looted. This room has no loot. And that brings us back. Someone there? Oh. Back right here where we encountered both these fellas before. Alright. You know what? There's a very good uh, dark patch in this room. So this is the stairs I went up earlier. Well, that I didn't go up, that I could have gone up. And that it perhaps should have gone up. I really would like to see a map of this place. It's, uh, I don't really have a sense of my bearings here. That's the western side, so that's... Okay, yeah, above that was the west wing. Okay. Oh, this is where I came, okay. Where did down take me? I think down connected back to the lift. Is that correct? No, that was the gallery of mathematical curiosities. And oh, that's the one where they're walking around in circles. Okay. Oh, that's why the sign said private residence, because up here is. I can't close that. Except I probably leave it. Up here is, of course, where Professor Hilbert lives. Okay. 
That's south. East is just where I came from just now. Dining hall. North is emergency power reset. North is the elevator. Okay, so this is the penthouse, the entire penthouse. Is that glass? Well, maybe I shouldn't risk it. Maybe it's just fog. So, uh, you look down on the library. You know, maybe that would be a better screenshot. I don't know. Or even we could, you know, some of these just looks pretty good as well. But looks less, uh, perhaps less unique. All right, let's go downstairs. Back to relatively ordinary finite spaces. Maybe next time I'll be tired of dodging you and leave you knocked out in the uh, infinite stairwell. See, if I drop you here on floor one, then this magically creates an infinite number of copies of you. Oh no, it doesn't. Maybe if I drop you on floor two. It will. Let's try it. Let's drop you on floor two and see if that makes an infinite number of copies of you. Minus one, of course, because it won't make a copy of you on floor one, just on floor two and up. Yes, we have an infinite number of guards. So here is a guard on floor three. When we dropped him on floor two, how can that possibly be? Floor two and another guard. But floor one is special. One is unitary. One does not create a copy of the guard for me. Uh, right, this is the... That's up to the guests. The guest suites, the Omega suites. We now have... Where did this go? Uh, I can get it, I can go in there if I need to. We have access to the penthouse, we have access to the Omega Suites. Well, I don't... We don't have access to the Infinity Pool. Um... Alright, don't get stuck there. Well, I still want to have a key for this door, wherever it's supposed to lead. Where is this guy I'm hearing? I don't know. It's a slightly awkward stairway here, slightly too narrow for comfort. That goes down to... we can turn off the elevator power, but I don't know why we'd want to. Why, why would we turn off the elevator power? Right, if we go down there we can turn off the elevator power, but it seems pointless to do so. This is the front. What I'm looking for now is where the pool table was. Perhaps it was in the pub. I mean, it would be an appropriate place for it. Yes. So for some reason, I um, had the, when I first saw this eight ball where we thought the olive stone was, I thought that the eight ball would, you know, we put it in here, knock it around, and the olive stone would actually be hidden in the pool table. But no, I just got, my, I just got some money back, that's all. And uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with the... I don't know why these highlight but don't do anything. It's quite odd. 
And I hope I didn't need the eight ball to weigh down the pedestal. Because I can't use the eight ball anymore. So, I hope I haven't screwed myself over. If I have, well then, I will probably mean save game editing to unscrew myself. Right, that's just the maintenance area again. Why would I want to turn off elevator, elevator power? Right, there was nothing really in here. Well, there was the notes to Kevl and stuff, that was kind of useful, and the lime away. The only other thing in here was this elevator power, right? What was down here? Just machinery. And a not and a not a door. I mean, if I turn off the elevator power, then what? I mean, then the elevator won't work, obviously. But uh, surely, surely it does something more than that. I mean. I mean, the elevator not work is kind of... It just means we can't go up the elevator, right? It doesn't do anything else. Uh, where's my where's my massive keys? So... Yeah, why do we even have that option to turn the elevator off? There is the power reset buttons as well, which would presumably turn the elevator power back on, but it still seems quite redundant. Um, so that floor, that key I got was the upper floor's key. It was not the cash box key. I don't know where the cash box key is. Hidden somewhere where a thief will never find it, apparently. What just lit up there? Thought I saw something light up as I looked. And there's nothing there to throw, but I don't know what I thought I saw. So, oh god, now where's that elevator power again? Oh, down here for sure. The, um... Not that door, it's above this door. That room just was his kibble's bed with a couple of. Uh... Oh, we need water, don't we? Have we seen water anywhere? Place some water in the sponge. I mean, can I drop the sponge and throw a water arrow at it? Maybe. There was no water in the bucket there. Was there a fountain? With statues, not fountains, right? I forgot to one of the pools, the wishing pool or the infinity pool then perhaps that would let me um, do the thing winter, summer fall and vernal okay right, that's actually important Win that's not the normal season order I think this might be the order I need to go through the paintings winter, summer, fall and vernal Let's make a note. Uh, we've got to be able to get to the pool because there's a ring there, right? I mean, there's loot. Loot to be found. I don't remember the weight of the pool anymore. It's probably up this way. Or not. No, this is just... Staff areas. More staff areas, which I don't remember where they connect to. But this is just the elevators. All right. Well, I my problem right now is I don't have a plan. Um. Oh yeah, here's the floor. There's got to be a way in there. There's another door. There's another door to the west of here. All right, let's see if we can find that door. It's kind of left of me now. 
Down and left to me. I think that's where the staff door kind of goes, isn't it? This one. Hmm. Behind here. Ah, hotel administration. I didn't pick up any uh, of Hilbert's keys today. There's someone there. He didn't even hear that. Okay, so hotel administration will probably get me to the pool, but how do I get to the hotel administration? There's clearly a safe here in the security office, but there doesn't seem to be any way to access it. Although, let's test. Oh. Rewire the alarm key to the alarm instead of the safe. Okay, we got another key that I didn't see what it was, but... Um, Perhaps that was the administration key, perhaps that was the cash box key. That's the cash box key. He was complimented on hiding it where nobody would, where no thief would find it, right? Um, or was that somebody else? No, that was Brewer. Letter to Brewer. Security protocol, oh no, that's the painting. Hmm. What's the other note that I remember then? Rewire the alarm button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Clean up the mess in the Alice Stone exhibit. Ah, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Board up all access points to the penthouse's upper west wing, including the atrium windows, which is how we got in there. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't remember where the note was about... Uh, Hiding something in a way that somebody would never find. Mm. Nothing now. Did I even come this way? Chief of Staff. Well, yes, see the answer. Did I ever go down there? I mean, I must have. Who are you and where are you going and why? Well, you can stay out of my way to, for starters. Seems like the most appropriate way of dealing with um, all these problems. Yeah, more problems. I know I said I would sneak past them, but I'll sneak past some of them, you know. Oh yeah, there were the two of you patrolling up and down here, that's it. That was one of you. This is the other one of you. I guess. Come on, come with me. And that was the captain of the guard, and I could get in there. Alright. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I should remind myself where this goes. Okay, so this is, we've been up there, that was all the astronomers, observations and whatnot. Although, what were they trying to observe? Do we know? Uh, it wasn't here, it must have been higher up. That's the lounge. Oh yeah, it's upstairs. I mean, it's just all too foggy, but can we make any observations? I mean, the fog hasn't cleared, we just... It presumably will once the... Whatever the majors were doing has worn off. And that was the storeroom. Alright, I got a new key moments ago, and I still don't know what it's for. It was hidden with the alarm button. Maybe it was the cash box key, or maybe it's the administration key. Either way, I should go check it out. Uh, 
Chief of Staff. Well, it wasn't the Chief of Staff key. Also, remind myself where this goes. Have I been here? Uh, oh yes, this is letters complaining about people and things. And, oh right, this connected here. Well, if this was the cash box key... Um, yes, it was the cash box key we got. Oh, what? New objectives? Bonus. Uh, raid the hotel's cash box. Okay. It's just a bonus objective. We still have this bonus. Acquire all five of the platonic crystals, and I only ever found one of them. So that is disconcerting. I haven't seen hide or hair or any of the others. Oh, unless... Unless they happen to be on display in the other gallery and I just didn't notice. Which is possible. I would have to check my past footage to find out, but it seems, it seems unlikely. It's like they were all pretty distinctive shapes. I would have thought, you know, this is a thing. All right. Office administration, I still don't have a way to access. The infinity pool, I still don't have a way to access. So now what? Cash box I got, did I make a note of that? Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember picking up anything that resembled those, right? They're pretty, they'd be pretty distinctive. Cash box key, oops. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Ah, uh, yes, that, that was, I shouldn't have erased that, but it said cash box key, shut down the security system. There was a note somewhere about Benny shutting down the security system in a way that the thief would never guess. Yes, pressing the alarm button hides the cash box key. No thief would want to press the alarm button, right? All right, we need to go deal with the paintings. I, that's that's my way forward. I don't know what the, how to get to the pool. I don't know how to, to do a lot of things, but I do know how to start investigating the paintings. The first one, I believe, was Winter in uh, Lady Valeria's suite. That's the penthouse. We don't want the penthouse. We want the Omega suites. High speed lift brought to you by Supertask, guaranteed to allow you to try and traverse infinite distance in a finite amount of time. Oh, hello. I forgot there were still guards all over there. Alright. Uh, what's the order? Winter, summer, fall, then all. I believe winter's this way. Whoops. Yes, winter sweet key. Well, uh, the muse of the four seasons on a snowy winter's night. Which makes this a very good place to end the episode. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me soon for the next one.